Hey folks, Tom Norfleet with www.citizenshipquickly.com. This is our 12th C series on renouncing and relinquishing U.S. citizenship. If you got a question or comment, if you'll put it below, I'll do whatever I can to answer that for you. And if you want a new video, uh, if you will hit the subscription button, the far right of your screen, we'll get those out to you uh, as soon as they come out. Important matters that you need to know before you relinquish your U.S. citizenship. First of all, you have to file a Form 8854 to relinquish your U.S. citizenship. And the U.S. Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs has a form that you need to fill out, which is a questionnaire which is titled Information for Determining Possible Loss of U.S. Citizenship. If you leave the U.S. and you get a second passport and don't file the form IRS 8854, you're still a U.S. citizen. Banks and brokerage companies offshore will drive you nuts if you're even lucky enough to find one that will even take you as a client. If you still, if you, you're, if you're still a U.S. citizen, if you're still a U.S. citizen, and then the income will be reported to the IRS for reasons I had mentioned on earlier tapes. I would advise you to move all your assets outside the USA when you relinquish your U.S. citizenship, but you don't have to. Some people don't want to move everything outside the USA, and that's fine. The U.S. government doesn't require you to do it. Uh, it's not that expensive to get a second passport. We can do uh, one for your whole family for as low as around 35000 U.S. dollars. Uh, and, and, of course, every passport is different based on the number of uh, visa-free countries that you have. The more visa-free countries you got, typically that, that passport is going to be uh, more. Um, the USA started allowing dual citizenship in 1967, and the U.S. law allows U.S. citizens to have as many citizenships and passports as they want. Once you relinquish your U.S. citizenship, your taxes for the U.S. do not have to be done anymore except for the fraction of the year that you were still a U.S. citizen. There are big rumors that when you relinquish your U.S. citizenship, you can never go back to the USA again, and this is true-false. Uh, this is uh, uh, just is not the case. Uh, you would have to apply for tourist visa just like everybody else, and we can show you how to do that process. Uh, we can possibly get your income taxes close to zero uh, legally, and you wouldn't even have to relinquish your U.S. citizenship. Uh, that can be done through the foreign earned income exclusion. Remember, you can take baby steps first, and then if you want to take the plunge and relinquish, you know that's fine too. Uh, you may ne never want to relinquish your U.S. citizenship. I have two neighbors in, uh, where I live now, and both have gotten second passports, and one have re has relinquished his U.S. citizenship, and the other one has not. The one that did not relinquish the, his U.S. citizenship, he still thinks about it all the time because the fact in the FBAR forms that he has to file, whereas the other one doesn't have to file any of those forms, which is a big time saver. The higher the net worth that you are, the bigger advantage it is to get out of your U.S. citizenship. Moving overseas and keeping uh, your U.S. citizenship will shelter for the tax year 2019, uh, 105,900 U.S. dollars from earned income, and double this if your wife works too and also lives overseas. Uh, this generally goes up each year. Um, you, if you both qualify for the foreign income exclusion, you'll see your in, your income exclusion go up for both of you each year. Uh, I've never seen this exclusion rate go down. It's always going up each year. So that that's uh, good for you because it just uh, lowers your taxes each year. Um, you will also have living exclusions that you can take on top of this as a deduction. There's a lot of deductions that you get from this uh, foreign earning exclusion. Uh, if your employer is a foreign offshore corporation and you and your wife work for this company, you can avoid the Social Security and Medicare tax because foreign companies do not have to pay this tax to the U.S. IRS. If you do relinquish your U.S. citizenship, you'll know for sure when it's done because you'll get a form that says Certificate Loss of Nationality of the United States, and your name will show up in the Federal, federal Registry showing the year you relinquished your U.S. citizenship. And you can literally pull this up online after you relinquish. There's, it, 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 it's got that list of the Federal Registry of people that have relinquished and the year they, they actually relinquished. 
a great passport can be got for as little as a hundred thousand U.S. dollars, and you can travel to almost every country in the world that you would more than likely uh, ever want to travel to. Once you have officially relinquished your U.S. citizenship and do not trigger this, the, what's called the substantial presence test or get a green card, you're officially out of the U.S. tax system. You can still keep assets in the USA like property, equities, and money deposited in banks, except now you'll have to pay, you won't have to pay any tax uh, on bank account uh, CDs or any type of capital gains tax on equities with, broker, with brokerage companies uh, because these organizations will, will have a, filed a W-8 form uh, for you on these accounts. And then nothing is sent to the IRS because you're no longer a U.S. citizen or resident. Once you relinquish your U.S. citizenship, you don't, uh, and you don't hold a green card, and you don't violate this what's called this substantial presence test. Uh, you're still subject to any automatic withholding taxes on U.S. dividends paid out to you, whether they be from a business or from equities that you have, you know, bought. This tax is usually a, a flat amount, but does vary depending on who is present at that, that given time. When you relinquish your U.S. citizenship, U.S. dividends can be afforded by not having a U.S. company and by not buying U.S. equities. Instead, look for stocks that do not issue a dividend and all profits are from capital gains like the stocks Google, Facebook, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, uh, of course, Berkshire Hathaway is the, the company that Warren Buffett set up. Uh, these three stocks do not issue dividends, so all profits are tax-free. Uh, I'm not recommending, uh, reiterate on this, I'm not recommending these stocks. I'm just using them as an example. If you, you, if you want to get around uh, the withholding tax on dividends, these stocks don't issue dividends. So uh, all of your gains uh, on dividends and capital gains are tax-free, provided you've relinquished your U.S. citizenship you don't have green cards, and you also don't qualify for the substantial presence test. Unlike the USA, there are 21 countries in the world right now that do not tax dividends to foreigners, and some of these markets have outperformed the Dow and the S&P 500 index. Uh, we can give you more details on this when you become a client with our company. I'm not aware of any country in the world that taxes foreigners on a capital gains tax on equity spot in their country, including the USA. Uh, what you will find out is foreigners are treated a lot better on tax issues than citizens in the USA, and this is true in most countries. Foreigners that purchase CDs and equities in the USA do not have to pay tax on the interest income or capital gains, where citizens and residents do have to do this. If you are at the point where you're thinking about cheating on your tax return and you can't control that drive, you'd be better to relinquish your U.S. citizenship and just get out of it. It's not, just not worth it. Uh, don't get confused on the word renounce and relinquish. They both mean the same thing as, it, uh, as you will see when you get your certificate uh, of loss of nationality, the United States. Uh, it, it says it's the same thing. Okay, So you'll, you'll get into arguments with people saying it's different. It's the same thing. If you're going to renounce your U.S. citizenship, you need to have a place, uh, have a plan in place where it be uh, to uh, where you know where you want to work and or if you want to retire where that be if you relinquish it will not affect any social security that you've already qualified for but you cannot still work and get social security unless you're at least 66 years old and this could change by the time you read this this is a, this is for someone who is renounced once you renounce you will no longer qualify for Medicare uh, Medicaid or Medicare which only works if you're in the USA anyway. Uh, what you'll find out, though, is medical costs in the USA is the highest of any country in the world. And even when you have Medicare, you're out of pocket that Medicare did not provide would be more than if you paid the total bill yourself living in places like the Philippines or you know uh, other types of countries uh, in the Philippines or Panama is a good example, too. And the Philippines has great health care. A dental exam or, or cleaning in the Philippines is about 10 U.S. dollars. That, that's how cheap it is. Other places that have great health care, extremely low prices, are Malaysia, Thailand, Colombia, Brazil, uh, and Panama. Uh, believe it or not, Colombia has one of the best health care 
systems of any place in the world, and it's dirt cheap. If you're single, the above countries that I've mentioned have some of the prettiest women in the world, and they love dating guys in their 60s up to 90s. Uh, you heard that right. I mean, I've been to these countries, and uh, especially in Asia, places like Singapore, uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines. Uh, these are countries that uh, they just think different than they do in the U.S. Uh, if you're single, um, you know, you can go to these countries and uh, see which one you, you like the best. I like the Philippines because it's all English speaking, uh, but that's up to you. Uh, Singapore is another one, too. Singapore is a lot more expensive to live in than the, uh, than the Philippines. If you need a coach to help you walk through this maze, we can help you do it. Trying to do this yourself is going to cost you a lot of time and money, and we'll make a lot. You're going to make a lot of costly mistakes. I, I did myself, and I can tell you, if you try to learn this yourself, you're going to end up spending a lot of time and money. Um, People screw up uh, so much when getting a second passport. You definitely need someone, you know, to be with you on this journey, uh, or you're going to lose a lot of money. I can tell you that. Uh, I will show you the pitfalls to avoid when doing this because I, I experienced them myself. You can get the relinquishment process done in about two to three visits to a passport uh, uh, section of the. Uh, uh, if it's the U U.S. that you're relinquishing your citizenship on, you can go to places like Panama, uh, Switzerland, London has, uh, wherever there's a U.S. embassy, you can go typically to almost any, any U.S. embassy or consulate office to get this done. Uh, if you try and get advice from these Caribbean co co companies that sell passports, they're not going to know uh the process that you want to do because they've never done it themselves and this is why you need outside help to help you on this. Usually a consulate general will meet with you based on a preset appointment date. Your passport is taken from you but given back to you with the top part of your passport clip so you can't use it again. You can keep it uh, but it's virtually worthless at that point and uh, you can't travel on it at that point forwards. This is why you need a second passport because you won't be able to get home otherwise. Uh, and they will check with you several times to make sure your other passport's in place before they cancel the U.S. passport. I've seen people spend a fortune on a passport and lose it all and never get the passport just from scams. This is a big problem in the passport industry. So many people take years to get their second passport in Europe, spending tons of money and taxes while waiting for the passport, when in a lot of cases they could have just taken a, a portion of the money that they would have lost in taxes and, and gotten their second passport in a few months and could have saved a ton of money in the end and they're over with it. I mean, that's, uh, that, that's the easiest and cheapest way to go. I see people take years to get the second passport uh, to get the approval uh, done when you can do it in as quick as two to four months. Um, the actual freedom of giving up your U.S. citizenship is overwhelming. I, I can't explain it because I've done it. I know the feeling. If you talk to a lot of people in the USA, they think you're being unpatriotic by doing it. But remember, your life is not their life. It's your life. You're a sovereign being, and you have the right to go and to do whatever's going to make you the happiest. Even the people in the U.S. Consulate Office asked me if I was sound of mind two times as if I was crazy before I read the oath to renounce. But I knew I was ready, and the only regret was I didn't do it sooner. It's very difficult to find someone who has the experience in helping you do this because there were only about 3,981 renunciations in 2018, which was about a 22% decline from the year before. And, and most of these people do not have the experience uh, I have because they've never done it themselves. I went through the whole process myself, and I know the process and the emotions you, you're going to go through uh, when you do this, and you're going to have a lot of doubts up into the time you actually renounce. Uh, if I could show you how to get your taxes to zero or close to zero, saving you tens of thousands of U.S. dollars 
without renouncing your, your, your U.S. citizenship, would it be worth doing business with our company? This is one of the things I can show you, too. If you don't want to relinquish, I can still show you how to get your taxes down to zero. If you're making at least $150,000 U.S. dollars a year or millions a year, and you're already living outside the USA currently, it might make sense to relinquish your U.S. citizenship or at least engage in the foreign earned overseas exclusion. When I was living in the USA, my taxes got so high, I lost the incentive to work anymore. If you feel like you're at this point, I would advise you at least move in outside the USA so you can qualify for the foreign earned exclusion. You earn your money and what percentage you choose to keep is up to you. It is just a matter of our company working with you to show you how to put all these pieces of the puzzle into place. And this can be done totally legally, but you're going to have to make some changes and adjustments initially to, you know, to get this done. Uh, you keep paying ridiculous tax bills every year or channel the money you would be paying into taxes into a, a property that would qualify you for a second passport citizenship that can help you to solve your tax problem, not only for you, but for your children, because now since you know how to do this, you can teach your children also. I used to think writing letters to my congressman and campaigning for the most conservative guy running for office would change things, but then when the conservative guy got in office, still nothing was done. I mean, you've been through the same thing. You want instant results, change you, and don't wait for the system to change. This is the fastest way to get things done. I was a receipt fanatic when I used to live in the USA and I had my own business. I was constantly reminding myself, my wife, to keep receipts on money that was uh, spent on uh, anything that could be legally used as a business expense. Because if it wasn't uh, used as an a, a, a expense or deduction, I would lose around 50% in a tax. Even doing this, I still lost a ton of money in taxes. If you're getting like this, you might want to make a change and relinquish. Uh, I never keep receipts anymore, and tax day, April the 15th, passes every year, just like any other day. I haven't filed an income tax return in years, and this has saved me a ton of time that now I can use for my business or spend more time with my family. Wouldn't... Uh, would not having to file endless paperwork for you and your corporation be enough to take the plunge and relinquish? That's a decision you're going to have to make. The peace of mind is credible. And I'm a lot more relaxed person now than I was living in the USA. Just the peace of mind alone was enough for me to relinquish. Is it worth it to you for this reason? Uh, you're going to be questioned about this quite a bit. And, uh, from yourself. So you're, you're going to have to make the decision. If you're already engaged in the foreign earned income exclusion and you see these deductions are being cut by, by Congress, it would probably make sense to relinquish. It has been brought up by the liberals in the USA to totally eliminate the foreign earned income exclusion. Congress will always control your tax bill until you relinquish. There are several countries in the world you cannot visit or do business with because you're a U.S. citizen. Uh, that lack of freedom will be totally resolved when you relinquish. Relinquishing your U.S. citizenship is a permanent decision, and this is one of the reasons the consul officer asked me two times if I was sound of mind, because once you relinquish and later feel like you made a, a, a big mistake and want the U.S. citizenship back, uh, you have to go through all the trouble any foreigner would have to this apply also. Uh, it, there's no difference between he, the way he applies and the way you would have to apply. There's a lot of planning to do when you relinquish, such as where you want your bank account uh, to be located, what country you and your family want to, to live in. Are you going to be uh, leaving some assets in the USA, and what is the best country to get a second passport in? Uh, you have to look at all these different uh, variables to uh, make a decision on that. Are you planning on getting a U.S. visa? If you still plan on going back to the USA, are you going to retire or set up a new company abroad or use the same company name you already have and just domicile it in, in another country? If you have property in the USA and you want to stop all taxes on capital gains, taxes on rental income, and almost eliminate all property taxes in the future, St. Kitts in the Caribbean is a great place to invest, and we can help you out 
on this. Advantages in buying real estate in St. Kitts are no capital gains tax, no personal income tax on rental income. Property tax is only 0.20 of 1% after a deduction of $29,630 per property. And property taxes have not uh, increased um, at all in about 13 years I've been there. And, um, and the properties have done extremely well. That means if you paid, as an example, if you paid $100,000 U.S. dollars for a property, you would pay an annual property tax of $100,000 minus the $29,630 deduction, which would equal $70,370 times 0.20 of 1%, so, uh, which equals $140.74 per year in property tax that you would pay on a $100,000 property. And like I say, that the 13 years I've been in St. Kitts, that's never changed. Um, you can also own the properties with an EVIS LLC, except any property bought for citizenship, which has to be in your name for at least five years. Uh, but using a EVIS LLC would give you some of the best uh, protection, asset protection of any place in the world. What taxes will you be liable for after you leave the USA if you decide to keep some of your assets there, whether it be in real estate or equities? Um, What's the best way to receive your Social Security payments once you've relinquished and moved abroad? If you're going to be getting a second passport and thinking about relinquishing your U.S. citizenship, St. Kitts has one of the best deals out there, offering more visa-free travel than any other Caribbean countries. And it's also a great place to have a business with no personal income tax. We can help you on all these things since, you know, we have, uh, uh, we can help you out on these things since we have a citizenship by investment company. Do you want to have your business in a different country from where you live? This can be done and we can advise you on this. Uh, what are you going to do about your pensions and your retirement accounts? These are some other things that you need to think about. Trying to do this yourself can cost you a lot of money, making a lot of mistakes. I've been through this myself, like I say, and I can tell you the best way in getting all these things accomplished. I can save you 60 to 100% in taxes if you never relinquish your U.S. citizenship, especially if you are married, and I can show you how to accomplish that. Um, this is our end in our series on renouncing and relinquishing. If you've got a question, comment, put it in the comment section below, and also if you are wanting new videos as they come out, hit the subscription button to your far right of the screen. We'll get those to you as soon as possible and look forward to talking to you on our next video. Take care. Bye.